Hi guys, welcome back to Nidia Aquí, Nidia Ya. Uh, my mom couldn't make it. Well, she couldn't be in the video today because she had to go and do some errands. So I'm just doing this solo for today and I'm excited. So if you guys want to recreate this look that I got right now, go ahead and follow along. I've already primed my face and I've already primed my eyes. So I'm just going to get right into it. I just used Dr. Brandt's Pour No More, Pours No More for my face. And then for the lids, I just used the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So now that that's done, we can get that out of the way. I'm going to start with the face first. Usually I do the eyeshadow, but today I'm just going to do it this way. What I'm going to do is put translucent powder all over. That translucent powder was a tart. Foundation. The Too Faced Born This Way. My color is porcelain, but I do think I tanned just a bit more recently, so it may be off. We'll see how that goes. But if not, it's nothing that a little bronzer can't fix. So. You know what? Your skin is imperfect, so if there's some imperfection showing up, whatever. That's okay. Lay some translucent powder over it. Since my eyes are looking a little dark, if you guys don't know this trick, I'm using a lipstick. But you use either that or a concealer that has a orange undertone. And it gets rid of your dark circles. Now I'm just gonna layer my concealer over it. blend it out and I'm gonna use this part you're gonna bake and cake and I'm putting on a lot because when I do my eyeshadow there's gonna be some fallout I'm looking ridiculous like a cool core so I'm gonna be using the Morph 120 palette, and I'm gonna be using reds today. I'm so excited! And I'm using this one for the transition color. The neighbors have a dog upstairs. It's howling. It's howling. Moving on. Deepen this part more by adding some brown, making it more antique. Just doing it out in the outer V, just here. Nice. And now, I'm going to dig into this color and this color. And I'm just going to put it all over the lids. And that is not the payoff that I wanted, so let's try this again. Now I'm just looking like a vampire, a structure vampire, and I think I'm going to go back and just 
intensify the crease just a little bit more. The past two years I did um, comic book characters. I did Venom and I also did uh, the Joker but like the cartoon version. It was so much fun and I also helped out with my friend Jonathan's makeup. He was the Mad Hatter. So guys, how about them Dodgers? Mm. I hope that we win tonight. Today is Thursday. It is game five. Yesterday we were not too happy that they lost. So here's hoping to today. Look at Bay. Go, go, go. All right, and then I'm gonna layer on this shimmery color right here. Nah, I'll just keep it like that. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Simple, short, and to the point. No f putting shimmer on there. Yum. And for the bottom, as I forgot to do it in the corner. Whatever. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of pink mixed with that red. For the inner corner, this shimmery orange, and I'm doing this shimmery yellow together. Ah, oh, and I got eyeshadow on my eye. <sighs> to create this beautiful ray of sunshine in the corner of my eyes. Now, dust the excess off. Oh my god, guys. I have gotten my first white hair. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. That's good enough. You know, as much as my mom annoys me, I kind of miss her right now because she was fun. So mama, if you're out there, come back. Let's get on to the lashes. Hi, mom. Hi. I was just talking about you to the camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and can you tell me why you start without me? I was telling them that I was so happy that I could finally do a video on my own. Good. And I'm so proud of myself. Now you have no idea. Bunny Tart Lip Cosmetic. And that, my darlings, completes the look. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles. It's going to be um, a DIY fall crown. Yep. I'm going to do that. So, so excited. Okay, and just so you guys get a look with the natural light. Right.